Thank you. Uh, my name is Ivan, and I'm a CEO of the company Vibration, and I'm here uh, today for speaking about the remote collaboration with the client or with your team, so, or, or in your team. So uh, let's get, uh, say something about me. I started building website in 1999, so it is 20 years from now, and it was HTML and CSS1, and we use tables, so if you know this uh, way how to do websites, you, you, you know uh, the joke, like because you write every, everything in tables and uh, souls and rows. So in that um, era is gone, so uh, we start to build websites on PHP, and then uh, there are some um, there are some CMS like WordPress, and I found WordPress in, I think, 2006. And in 2007, I built my first uh, blog, which uh, is uh, working right now. As you can see, this print screen is from uh, today. So uh, it's uh, update. You need to update your WordPress so uh, you can have your WordPress for 10 years and, and more. So from 2007, I'm building website on WordPress. And uh, I will tell you something about the journey, uh, uh, how I make uh, websites and which tools I've, I used. I start with CorelDRAW 8, I think, maybe 7, in 2000, I think. And then I found Wainshop Pro. Uh, then I start with Photoshop. And I really enjoyed the Photoshop and the... I stay with Photoshop maybe for 10 years and uh, maybe 10,000 uh, 10, hours of uh, designing. So uh, Photoshop is my best tool for designing in that time. And then I started building Flash animations and Flash uh, applications. I use ActionScript 1. Then I think five years ago we uh, start uh, building website and uh, designing things in Sketch. And I thought that is the best thing for building uh, websites and designing things and design custom uh, templates. So Vibration is a digital agency focused on WordPress and we are based in Bratislava, but a lot of our team members are not in Bratislava, so we are a remote company and we use uh, modern tools. So uh, he, today I want to tell you something about uh, the modern tools we, which we use, and I picked two of them. Uh, we try to making website with the WordPress, but also we uh, have our own uh, our own platform for e-commerce. So in WordPress, we use uh, right now Gutenberg, and we really enjoy WordPress API. And right now we are focused on Vue.js, so front end uh, will um, be in Vue.js in future websites and future templates. We also, every time, we make custom template and custom plugins. So our clients are happy because it's really fast. And um, uh, why I'm here today, I want to tell you something about how to optimize your work, uh, how to speak with your client and team members, and how to get feedback from the client. And we want to be really productive. So if you are a UX designer, web designer, front-end programmer, project manager or product owner or client, you are in the right place. So I, uh, I picked two of them, two, two, two pro, uh, softwares or maybe software services. They are online programs or services. And first of, first of it is Asana. And Asana is a content, it's a collaborative tool for project management, but we use it for different uh, things, like uh, to make specification with the client. We also make uh, estimates inside of Asana. Also, we uh, use reusable templates to, to uh, define the, the whole process of the project. And uh, every time we use project management, uh, project man uh, this Asana for me is a project management tool one of the best of the all of the tools. You can use Monday, you can use uh, Basecamp, you can use Trello. It's a little bit same, but I think that Asana is the best and the faster for the 
also for the big projects. Also, we use it for communication. So we uh, we and to use emails and we try to uh, to speak with the clients with the with the just asana so you don't uh, miss your emails or some some communication so we need to wait yeah. also we try to have everything about the project in asana so all of the ideas, change requests, fun function requirements, backtracking. So uh, when when you go to the project in Asana, you see everything about the project and all whole communication in the in the project. We also put um, put client to the workspace or project, so you can. Uh, speak with the with the client inside Asana, and also he can speak with the with the programmers and designers, and you don't need to send emails or calls and things like this. So I I can s uh, show you the default process of us of our company. It's uh, like sales phase, then it's a milestone of uh, preparation of the project. Uh, you, I, I think that you can see this, but you can uh, you can put your task into the milestone. So uh, this looks like waterfall, and uh, it is waterfall, I think. But you can see whole phases in the project and the whole task in the phases. So you can uh, you do, you don't need to think about the next step or next phase in the project, and you go one by one and you just check everything. Also, Asana is good for support because uh, the clients uh, send you requests or bugs or uh, some requirements to to your project. And in uh, here we use different approach in this project. We have ideas to do, doing, and review and done. So you can go from different phases or milestones, but we use it like in Trello so you can go with the task to different uh, step in the project. Also, we use it for feedback and communication. So client uh, comment everything and you can ask client to give your feedback and give you feedback and uh, we use it like send me print screen or upload, upload your like uh, folders or, or files. Uh, next next uh, software is Figma, and uh, most of this presentation will be about the Figma. Uh, it, in one sentence, it's Google Docs for designers. So if you can imagine uh, you are working on the program, it's online, and you can, you can see how your designer clicking and what he's doing, and you can put how many designers you want into one artboard or one one place so it's really easy and really fast so let's go into the figma so wireframing is the process of making some sketch and uh, to to prototype the website and then we can make uh, clickable prototypes and then we make designs and and uh, interaction things and then you can use for testing feedback and version control or front end programming so wireframing we used uh, paper it's the best way uh, right now also and uh, then we switch to azure rp then we use balsamic then powerpoint some clients send it in excel also good good thing is uh, google drawings but in figma it's really easy and really fast and it's all online all the time so it's final version all the time and as you can see this is start of the project. So uh, here in this area, I start with the sketching. And then if you go closer, you can see this will be Red Cross website built on, built on web, uh, web uh, sorry, built uh, in WordPress. And here is a wireframe of the front page and uh, so, so maybe some sub pages. Sometimes you can go from the, um, different perspective and you don't need to go uh, 
totally in, into the components, but you just write or uh, draw just the rectangles and you can speak with on Skype with your with your designer or with the with the client and you can sketch online and you can see the the mouse so it's really easy to uh, be remote and remotely speak about the maybe different or next uh, fe feature requirements and also design also we use asana for making prototypes so uh, the old way we used Azure RP or Photoshop or Sketch, and then we export all the design things into the InVision. And in InVision, we made areas which were clickable, and you can go, you can make uh, links to that uh, to, the, to that areas. So right now, I'm try, I try I'll try uh, the second microphone. Okay, so. Live demo. I hope that it will work. So when um, when we speak about the, the wireframing, I'm just click A. It's really good to know uh, the keyboard shortcuts because you will be faster than if you use paper. So I just click R so I can make a rectangle. Then you can copy it and make like a normal form. Then, okay, I want to have call to action button, so I put some colors inside of it. So right now I have the form. You can make groups. So it's really easy to sketch everything. Then you can, uh, you can see here all the artboards are inside of the one place. Yeah, let's look inside this. So this is sketch of the of the pages. Sometimes uh, you can go deeper and it looks like this. Sometimes uh, it's uh, ready for the designing. Here's some uh, maybe interaction things and how how it how it will works. And sometimes it's really uh, up like here so this is the form or this is FAQ so I know that there will be text but there is no text right now so uh, there is just preparation of the project then uh, you can make uh, prototypes like this so you can see all the design for the website this is uh, Prophecy Days which is also based in WordPress and this will be redesigned I think in the future so uh, you can send PNG or PDF files, but it's better to see prototypes like this. Yeah, it's working. So uh, it's clickable and it looks like the complete uh, application. So the client uh, can see how it works. Okay, it is form, you can register. There is a QR code, then you can uh, make some changes. You can go back. And what is really good inside of this, you you can send it to your client or to the client's uh, customers, and he can he can then uh, realize how, how it works, if it is fast, if it is uh, reasonable, and uh, how the, how it works and how it will works. So if he if the client uh, can't uh, if he if the client wants to make some changes, he just uh, click C and he wants to make this bigger. So he just write your comment, write your comment. So uh, I want bigger heading. So designer get feedback from the client, from the prototype. But when you switch to the, to the Figma, you can see it here. So there is a, if I click C, I can see comments and I see this one and I can resolve it. So I just go here and change the um, text size. There is a style, so I can change it here and make it bigger, but there is no space, so I leave it here like this. And I can resolve the comment, so I said, yes, it's okay. Okay, done. And here, here it is. So you can cooperate with the more people inside one, one uh, 
artboard or one, one project. Then uh, if you go uh, inside of designing things, I need to wait here. Yeah, okay, I can see. Uh, here's a different proje project and you can see there is also design. So it goes from maybe something like this, like preparation, some uh, wireframing, and in one project you can have everything and there is a design. So you can go inside this and uh, your programmer can check the code uh, from the Figma so we don't leave this, this software. So it's really easy. So here, is, uh, here it is, you can find uh, all, of the, all of the CSS things for for the programmer, so you, you can see font family, font style, and everything. He can measure uh, how far some things are. So if you build your custom uh, template, you definitely try, you want to uh, be quick and uh, don't use different softwares for things to cut the design. Okay, so here it is. So. It's like Sketch, but it's online, so it's better than Sketch. Here it is. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, next project is like this. You can see that uh, it's really fast. It's uh, online, and uh, they use uh, cloud to to optimize the speed. So you don't need to have a fast computer or fast uh, graphic driver or graphic card, so it's really fast and you can have multiple multiple pages and multiple screens inside one project. You can also make it, you can also make a design system inside as, uh, as uh, Figma and let's see if it works. I, here is our, our projects, so from the May of this year, uh, we done plenty of designs, so I'll try this one if it works. Uh, as you can see, we use it for comments, but I want to show you that after uh, final, final design contain a uh, lot of comments. Uh, here I can switch to show resolved comments and these small pins, blue pins and white pins are comments. So in one page we cooperate with the designer and uh, make a lot of changes. So if I click C, you can you can see uh, how many times we change things inside the design, but we don't need to send all the all the files and all the print screens by email or uh, make some exports in InVision. It's also um, clickable, so I can click here just to play the prototype and. Every time is when the client want to see the final design, he just open the file. You can share also uh, this this uh, uh, edit view, so I can send just link and I can say, okay, this is our team, and I can uh, send him just to view the things to not to change, and I can send him email about, uh, okay, give me your feedback and. Maybe Martin want to uh, cut the design and make some changes, so I, I made uh, the rights for the editing of the document. And um, um, programmers really like it because you can use it on Linux, Mac, or Windows. So it's multi-platform, so it's the game changer for us because we don't need to have a lot of sketch licenses and we eat just for free. It's a uh, way how to do it. We don't need to use old, uh, I think it's also mm, a change of our work because we, we, more, we are more productive and we, more, we cooperate uh, in daily basis and we comment everything and maybe more people are involved into the project so it's uh, really, uh, really better and our designs are, I think, are better and the client is in, uh, in, in the project from the, from the beginning, so he can see whole, I think, uh, whole process and how the things are built, and uh, it's uh, 
easy to explain them clients to the clients that how work it how long it takes and uh, how what is what is uh, below it and uh, they li they like it and they are uh, they really like commenting the designs so it's like this so maybe uh, I can finalize my live demo with uh, this um, this slide the last slide main reason why to use uh, Asana Asana and Figma is because they are online so they are really um, really game changers in the field of the web design and uh, communication uh, Figma is really really best tool in this year I, which I found so I really recommend it to everyone but uh, let's uh, let's say okay why to switch from sketch or why to switch from uh, Photoshop or Adobe XD because it's online so it's the most valuable thing what, uh, what I think and it's multifunctional so you can use it for everything in, uh, in case of from start of the project to end of the project uh, then it's easy to learn if you know sketch or or Adobe XD it's really easy to learn there is some uh, some shortcuts keyboard shortcuts uh, I will recommend you to learn that and it's free so if you have one project or if you leave it in one project it's free and it's free for all of your users inside of the project so I think that uh, you can you can put all of your company inside of the project uh, also you can save money because you don't need to have uh, using Photoshop sketch or a extra or InVision and it's online it's fast and it's multi-platform you can also download the application so you can uh, have it like you can see I have the application but you can uh, work also in Chrome or in Firefox so it's online so that's it so what to do next try Asana if you don't if you use Trello you can live in Trello but try Asana and if you our designer or you want to sketch some things try Figma and mm, maybe try to learn about design systems it can be really faster when you use your libraries in the project and try Figma plugins there's they are here for maybe two months and I think that there will be future of development that you will make like you can see website in Figma but it is online if you, if you can imagine that we just say that okay let's try to show this one I can zoom it here and I want to I want to change this heading from the database I think that the front end the front end programmers they will not have a lot of work because it's it's working like this so I think it's future so I will see it in maybe two years that some guys smart guys make some plugins and you will export Figma things into the website so this is the future so thank you very much and if you have some questions I will be here for a whole day and also an after party so you can ask me about the Figma or Asana I will help you <laughs>